So last night I'm having a great time watching television. Night Rider just ended. And then on the screen comes Special Report. Yep, Special Report. What is it? This douchebag that calls himself our President of the United States, or actually we call him the President of the United States. Why? Oh yeah, because he says our economy, our entire economy is in danger. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. I needed you to fucking tell me this. Mm-hmm. And what can we do? No, it's not what can we do. What does he want? Mm-hmm. This fucking guy wants a $700 billion bailout. He wants us to approve it. He wants Congress to approve it. Seven hundred billion dollars, huh? Are you fucking kidding me? I mean, dude, seriously. You're running this fucking country, and the reason why the economy is so fucked up is because of what you've done over the last eight fucking years. And you want us, the taxpayers, to pay for it? Are you out of your fucking mind? No, thank you. God, that you're only running this fucking government for the next couple of months because you, 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 you gotta get the fuck out because you, you fuck things up enough. And I I really hope that no, no one fucking agrees with you that we need to do this. I mean, these fucking people got themselves into their own mess. And you know what? Let them fucking dig their own holes and fucking get themselves out of it because... I don't think we should have to pay for it. I mean, don't get me wrong, George. I mean, if you want to start fucking handing out money, fine. Why don't, you know, you know, I'm not a greedy person, George. Why don't you throw a million dollars my way? Maybe two. You know, I'll be nice. I'll shut the fuck up, throw three million dollars my way, and I won't care about what you do with the rest of it. Actually, I do. I think you should give a couple of million, you know, maybe four or five, to my buddy, the desperately struggling artist, Carmine Stefano, who, as a matter of fact, George, wrote this book, Behind Closed Doors. See, that's his name on the bottom. And I think you should go out and buy this book, George, okay? Because wh what we need to do is we need to give, give Carmine about $5 million so he can get his second book, similar, you know, probably look like this too, except it'll say The Ravine on it by Carmine De Stefano. You know, and that way... He can get the second book published. He could uh, get the third, fourth, you know, because he's got like 26 fucking sh shits written. And, you know, maybe if you give him $5 million, you know, hell, he could buy his own publishing company. And you'll probably never hear from him again. Now, you know, y you're out of your fucking mind, George, seriously, you know. Yeah, Lehman Brothers went out of business, you know, but the way those people were walking out of that office on, on that Monday didn't look like they were in their suits, so they knew this was coming, and probably for some time. So, we should pay for it? Y you know, you want to bail up AIG Insurance Company? Fuck them! I mean, I know people that have AIG for insurance, and you know what? Go to another insurance company. It's not that fucking hard. You know, I, I just can't understand. They're taking all this money from everybody, but they go fucking bankrupt. You know what? The economy, yeah, it's fucked up because of you, you fucking douchebag. You know, this was supposed to be a fucking warning from you? A warning, huh? Mm-hmm. And you want Barack Obama... And John McCain to help you? You want the key? You want Congress to help you? I mean, why should anybody help you? In another four months, you're gonna get kicked in the ass and say, "Get the fuck out of my White House," and go move on with your fucking life. 
You just amaze the shit out of me. That you, you what, what are you, the fucking savior in the last four months of your fucking, you know, presidential run? That you think you're gonna save this fucking country? By 700 billion, BILLION! B-I-L-L-O-N. Most people can't conceive how much money that is. But yet, you want to, I don't know, do the right thing in your eyes? Uh, hey, go look. Watch on the poll on the news. What do people think in New York? 16% think it's a good idea. 38% think it's a bad idea. 42 people don't know enough. 42% don't know enough. Oh, you know what? That says enough. They don't know enough. Because they don't want to answer, George. Because they know you're a fucking moron that's destroyed this country in the last eight years, like I've said before. And suck my dick, Bush. You're a jerk off. J E R K O F F. I got better thing. This government. I don't even know what to say, George. Really, I don't. I mean, you fucked shit up so bad, so bad that you know. You're looking to us now to help you. Why would we help you when you fucked us all over so very much? Tell me, George. Give me a fucking answer to that, and I'll shut up. Give me my $3 million, and I'll shut up. But you know what, George? You won't do it. And I, I say this with the utmost respect. I cannot wait till you are out of that fucking White House... I'm living like a normal fucking person. Well, actually, not a normal person, you know. You'll still have your little fucking security guards because they'll still technically call you President Bush even though you're former President Bush because they call all former presidents still president because it's like a fucking name that just won't go away. It's like a fucking plague. And that's what you are, George Bush. Fuck you wanting $700 million, $700 billion to bail us fucking all these people out that fuck shit up themselves. Fuck them. Fuck you. I'm Frankie Love. I'm out. Peace.